No! No, the wall has come down. Damn you, Trump. Hello, everybody. Grace Dual Plays, and welcome back to more My Summer Eviction Notice. Yes, we're locked out of our house, sort of. You guys have mentioned a couple of, uh, I don't know what I'll call them, finishly good ways to get back inside, utilizing various resources at our disposal. You mentioned uh, finish headbutting into the bed and then finish headbutting into the mini bike as it sits outside. That is totally possible. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I might somewhat abuse that, but I also might not. And the reason why is, and you can tell by the sound of the many, many flies out here that we are at the dump where we left off last time. We've got, oh shit. Oh, I still have finished super strength on. Oh God. I hope I just didn't break the friggin' van. Uh, uh, oh no, my dirtiness is at full capacity as well. Not that it matters. I don't think it actually does anything. Oh, oh van. Okay. Oh, it still works. Anyway, what I was going to say is you guys have had a suggestion. Oh, the lean and grab for a while. And I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Now's the time. We got 21 days to evade the police. Well, evade. 21 days to not go home and get smacked in the forehead by a beady stick. And I have an idea of how we're going to do it. You guys have wanted me to build a friggin' beer fort for the longest time. So we will do so. Over by Taimo's shop. Because I think that's probably the perfect place to have it. You know, we'll have a place to sleep thanks to the crap tanker. We'll have a place to go buy more beer, which is super important. The only thing that we're not going to have is a sauna. So I may try, I may try to finish headbutt myself into the sauna at home so that we can begin our day fresh and clean. Now, if that doesn't work, the other thing that we could do is just take the boat over to the, oh, sweet mother of God, this is the freaking turn. Ah! Now, you may be saying to yourself, Gray, didn't you just die? Poppycock and hogswash. I was just, uh... I was just, um, I, lo I, I was holding a, a bottle of hot sauce and it flew out of my hand. That was all the red you saw. And the glass, well, the, the glass breaks all the time in this damn thing. You boys know how it is. A little, a, oh, Jesus, H. A little ass whippery never stopped old Gray, though. We're back on the road again and we got to head over to the shop. Oh, look who it is. You so, <laughs> it's just a freaking green car. Oh, I hate you so much, you dirty whore. That freaking green car tries to kill me every damn time I see it on the roadway. Every damn time. Oh, and you guys were saying too, I made a pinned comment about it, but a lot of people mentioned, yes, I saw the car was in the, uh, I saw the car was on top of the roof. Hold on. I wonder what happens if I throw this on. Woo! Wow, this thing stops on a dime. Holy God. Yeah, I saw the, uh, I saw the Satsuma was sitting on our roof. The big thing is, like, you know, you never expect, you never expect to go over there and leave it parked in a normal place and then come back and it's out on the friggin' roof. By the way, is my package in yet? Probably not. I probably have to go to sleep for another night. Oh, it's Saturday, too. I don't know if the mailman comes on Saturday. In retrospect, I totally forgot that I had to go down here because the only way for us to take a shower, crap, there's no beer in here. Uh, balls. I think I may have left some beer back at the cabin, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and grab a pack of sausages because we're going to need that just in case. We're going to have to boat out there so that we can take a shower, but that's, or son, I'm sorry. But that's not all, okay? You boys were saying that at 12 o'clock on that island, there's hauntings that occur. And I want to see if this is real or if you guys are jerking my friggin' chain. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna climb into the boat here. We're gonna sit our happy ass down into the driving mode. I'm gonna grab the pulley doodle and then we're gonna pull it. First try, baby. First try. Let's get the hell out of here. I used to care about where I parked. Not anymore. Juggle my scrote bag game. Ow. All right. That was a lot. That was a lot less impressive than I thought it would be. I thought maybe like we would run up on the ground or something like that. But instead, we just like straight up came to a dead stop. 
Don't want to lose my sausage. Do not want to lose my sausage. I got some tweets from you guys. Involving sausages. That seems awesome. Oh, also, guess what? I'm trying to become more active on the Facebook. So feel free to uh, do whatever you do over on Facebook. I try and put up like little clippets of stuff and uh, reply to comments and things like that over on Facebook as well. I think it'd be a cool way just to be connected with everyone. Did I not bring any beer here? I didn't bring any beer here last time, did I? Can I just drink the delicious lake water? It is delicious lake water, isn't it? Oh, we are dirty beyond belief right now, but that's okay. If you guys didn't know, there is a lovely sauna over here. It is wood powered. You have to fill it your own damn self, but it's fine. Because why walk around outside to chop wood when you can use the patented finish headbutt? All you have to do is just kind of get your axe. See right there? You just run the axe into the log. Just kind of run it into the log. Look at that right there. Wow, I am a friggin' juggernaut when it comes to axing logs. And that should be good enough. We'll go ahead and drop that thing to the ground. And I can't grab any of the wood. Son of a bitch. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna tell you something. Some people might be like, Gray, the Finnish headbutt is cheating. Wrong answer, my friend. The Finnish headbutt is a well-documented power that all Finnish people have. You can look at past comments of My Summer Car from legitimate people from Finland that mention all the different ways that they have used the Finnish headbutt. They've used it for everything. They've used it for chopping wood, they've used it for bathing, they've used it for shopping, they've used it for grabbing beer, they've used it for breaking up with their girlfriends, they've used it for filling the tank of gas, they've used it for getting rid of their parents, they've used it for everything. Alright, can I, can I shove this last log in here? Uh, it's kind of in there. Uh, no, that doesn't count. Okay, sit out there, log, start fire. I don't know how we started it, but whatever. Go ahead and close that. Penis man over here will tell us when it's time to uh, to make our thing happen. Uh, come to think of it, for water, I'm pretty sure we have to drop this. Rah! I'm pretty sure we have to drop this over in the lake itself, which is fine. I got the camera over here. We're going to have the camera to document any supernatural phenomenon. Now, remember, they said that that, that door right there opens up at 12 midnight at night. So we're going to see about that. Let's go ahead and light this up as well. Let, oh, shit. Okay, just sit right there. Don't go flying on me. Okay, good. I don't want that to go all crazy like. All right. Now, let me go ahead and grab my bucket filler up. We'll see if we can do a little bit of uh, cleanliness as godliness and all there, have you? Now, if you stare at this dude's tally whacker really, really hard, you're going to notice it's slowly starting to get erect. And when I say slowly... I mean, really, really, really damn slowly. All right, we're slightly cleaner. I'm pretty thirsty. I've been keeping my thirst at bay by pissing and drinking it. Yes, you can, uh, you can give yourself some of your thirst back by shooting your urine straight up and catching it in your mouth. That's some Bear Gorilla shit, but it works. Anyway, I'm gonna try and go to sleep here. We may die of dehydration. I'm gonna go to sleep here. We got our camera over here. We're a little bit cleaner now. And we're gonna see if this door opens up in the middle of the night. If it does, actually, you know what? Hold on. Put the camera right by us. This way, we won't miss the action. We won't miss the ghosts. All right, we're going to sleep over here. Hopefully, we don't die of dehydration in the nighttime. All right, let's check this out. Is anything weird gonna happen? What's well, a new day? Oh, crap. All right. I don't, I don't see anything unusual, boys. I've got my zoom all the way up here. Holy crap, this thing works surprisingly well. You take some pictures of there, have you? But I haven't noticed any ghostly activity. So it must be a lie. It must have been a giant lie. Now, is the sun coming up, going down, or something else? Oh my god, our thirst is really, really bad right now really bad. If I eat this sausage, it's going to make me very, very thirsty, isn't it? Because I think when you eat sausages, you get thirsty, which does make sense. Oh, God. Oh, no. Our friggin' thirst just got real. It's gonna be a fight for survival, boys. I gotta get in this friggin' boat and get back over to Timo's shop and see if we can grab some beers over there 
And then we can start on our freaking beer fort. Oh, this is it, boys. This is it. We got to take it to the limit. Here we go. We got to get back to the shop. Oh, my God. We're going to die of thirst. 20 days left in jail. Don't you die on me, brother. It's going to undo all the clean, all the cleanliness stuff we just did. But I'm going to have to piss and drink it. We're getting close. Oh, God. I don't even know. If we're, I don't even know if it's hitting our mouth. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. Right there. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that is a, a straight face shot if I ever saw one. Hopefully that got some of our thirst back. It really doesn't look like it did at all. Oh, God. Oh, no. There's the van. I can see it. Can you boys see it? We're so close. You can, you can stay in the red for a little while from thirst, but not too long. You guys remember how quickly we died of thirst? When uh, we were inside a jail, it just took me running around for maybe like an extra five minutes and we were pretty much jacked. I don't think that there is a, no, there's definitely not a beer case inside of the van because I would have taken it with me. Ugh. Oh, I've learned my lesson, boys. Oh, we have to, we have, to have beer everywhere and I, I, didn't, I didn't plan appropriately. We did not have beer everywhere. All right, shut the engine off here. Go ahead and uh, whatever, this is close enough. Coast on up. Get, get out of there. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 into the water. You can't even drink the lake water. I was trying so hard. Uh, should I get in the van? Yeah, let's get in the van. It's going to be closer. Or not closer, but it's going to be quicker. It's going to be quicker. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on, turn on. Turn on. Turn on, you piece of garbage. Oh, my God. The freaking glow plugs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit the gas. Or... Pedal or whatever. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> here we go. We didn't have to get to the shop. No, oh, God. This thing is terrible off-road. I totally forgot about it. All right. We're, we're fine. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. I'm on the dirt road over here. There's a car over there, by the way. I can't remember if I highlighted that in one of the episodes or not. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like a slalom. It's like a skiing slalom. Uh, look at that. Right past all the shrubbery. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, I see a beer case. I see a beer case on the ground. Okay, turn this off. Okay, all we need is beer. All we need is beer. Everything's gonna be just fine. Oh, that beer case is empty. That beer case is empty. Oh, there's a beer case over here. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. No, this beer case is empty as well. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking kidding me. Uh, okay, how about inside of here? There's gotta be a beer somewhere. Oh, oh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Screw you, game. You're not going to claim old gray today, but you sure came close. Oh, my God. Oh, I've never been so happy to see a beer in all my life. Oh, okay. All right. So we got a little bit of work done, but there's still a lot more work ahead of us. It's time to begin the beer fort. This is going to take a lot of money. Now comes the hard part. I need to constantly spend all my money buying more and more beer until we have enough beer for the freaking fort. And I don't think it spawns, so I'm going to have to log out and log back into the game over and over and over again to get the appropriate amount of beer. Well, that worked, luckily. All right, give me all this beer over here. Oh, we're going to run through money real quick. Yep, just keep the beer cases piling up. I'm going to go insane. My summer car is legitimately going to drive me insane. Oh, we're going to need so much more beer than this. I hope you boys are happy. There's beer everywhere. With the Finnish super strength, I've been kind of like lifting it up from time I was shopping, throwing it. The only problem was I put the strength up too much. When I was headbutting through the wall, I just wanted to get the beer out of there, and now there's beer friggin' everywhere. Whatever, there's a hundred cases of beer. I'm totally poor now. I have no marks left to my name, so we're gonna have to sell a whole crap ton to kill you. Hopefully, a hundred beer cases, though, is enough for us to build the fort. Epic building montage! Epic building montage! Oh, Jesus. Picking this thing up with the finished super strength causes really weird things to happen. Hold on, let me take this crap off because, damn it, I'm pissing all over the place again. 
Luckily, I don't have to worry about becoming thirsty or anything like that because I have beer for the rest of my life. The only problem is I don't have enough money for the sausages to go along with it. I'm eventually going to have to spend some money to buy more items so I can buy more kill you. Oh, really? If you put a friggin' beer inside of a beer, it doesn't stack. Building this is going to be a pain in my nuts. Screw you, you friggin' bastard! You see that guy just ran over all my damn beer cases without a care in the world? What a jackass. The Leaning Tower of Beer Cases is looking pretty friggin' unsteady. Uh, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna go ahead and sort this out. Maybe if I kind of push this beer case into that beer case. No, no, no! <laughs> Screw this, I'm cheating these beer cases in next time. This game's gonna give me a friggin' aneurysm. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, we're getting there. All right, I've got the system down now. Measure twice, cut once. You boys know. Hold on, let me. You gotta be very, very precise if you want an appropriate fort made out of beer cases. And I learned my lesson. You don't want to do it one at a time. You want to stack them. You want to stack at least two columns. This way, they hold each other up. These freaking flies are gonna drive me to drink. They're gonna drive me to drink for real. I'm gonna drink one of the beers. I don't care. I understand it's gonna be the fort. Oh my god, I wonder how accurate. Oh, I almost knocked over the friggin' wall with the beer. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember do not throw the empty beer bottle at the friggin' fort wall. Oh god, that was almost really, really sad. Whores! All right, I think I found a more stable way of putting the beer down. I think if we do it sideways like this, you know, I could maybe even do it like this and it might work. I hate this game. Don't drink bleach until you've made a beer fort out of a hundred beer cases. And I'm gonna kill myself. Do, 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 do. If this game doesn't do it first. In retrospect, I'm actually really happy that I saved some money for sausages because my hunger bar is going up pretty damn fast. Whoever thought that building a, a fort out of beer cases would take so much out of you? Any one of you guys ever tried to do this before? If you have, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't mean in the game, by the way. I mean in real life. Okay, I need to put this on here without knocking. Oh, shit. Right there. Don't, don't, don't fall. Don't, do not fall. Do not fall. Okay. Now, we're starting to get somewhere. I have the entryway. Now I just need to figure out. I can't make it any taller because I wouldn't be able to reach it. Oh, wait. Nope. Doesn't appear to work. All right. I thought I could lift myself up with the forks. Ah, uh, we're hungry. Hold on. Got some sausages right over here. No big deal. Got some beer right over here, too. Don't have to worry about the thirst. That's for damn sure. Have you boys ever made a beer for it out of my summer car beers? If you have, you need to post that stuff on Twitter so I can look at it. Okay. I think, I think the idea here, I'm putting stuff too close together. I think you definitely have to have like, uh, what do they call that? Like the masonry gaps where you can put plaster or whatever. I think we definitely need to have that. Otherwise, I'm going to end up dropping this and it's going to end up shifting this over slightly. And then my giant tower of beer that I have lovingly crafted over the past several minutes is going to fall. And I'm going to be very, very sad. Very sad. V Sadness is an understatement to the emotions that I will be feeling if this thing goes down. The shit is starting to lean, boys. It's not making me happy. It is starting to lean substantially. Please, for the love of God, do not fall over. How am I going to make a roof on this? I'm going to need your guys' freaking architectural engineering. Where's my boys from Brick Rigs? Because this is going to be ridiculous. I'm not, I have no idea how I'm going to get this thing to stand without falling over. When I started this, like in my head, before I ever started filming this and attempting this, I was like, you know what? I'm really going to wow him. I'm not going to build a beer fort. I'm going to build a beer house. It's going to have rooms. It's going to have doors. It's going to have everything. I never thought to myself what it would be like dealing with the physics of the game. Okay. I had that is really starting to lean. I had not thought of this. And now, now I'm paying the penalty. Now I'm paying the price. 
I almost wonder if it would be better if I laid these like bricks. Suck my balls, game. Suck my freaking balls. All right, new plan. I'm gonna try the brick idea. Not gonna lie. I don't like the way Timon says shake that booty a little faster. It sounds pretty friggin' dirty. I think this is the way to go, boys. I'm gonna tell you, and how do you like that? Old Gray figured it out himself. It only took like an hour and a half, but now I've got it. Now I've got this shit down pat. Hold on, I need to, I need to move this in a little bit. Oh, for the love of God. I need to move this in a little bit more like this. The flies are driving me insane! Oh, I know you guys said that you can't die from being dirty. But it's, it's legitimately driving me insane. Looks like night time's coming, boys. Gray still wants to shoot himself in the face. That's gonna be the new channel name. All right, we're getting somewhere, though. It's friggin' working, man. You just gotta, at, at the wall, like, wherever you're gonna end, you just need to, like, do a, a triple stack. So that's what I'm doing over there. See, if I triple stack it, okay, I can start on a new layer to the wall. That's how wide it's gonna be. No, I'm not going any friggin' wider. Maybe I'll modulate it later in life, but not today, damn it. See, when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. You need to get creative with this stuff, okay? See, that one we put like that. Oh, oh, it's gonna work. They're gonna call me the friggin' Martha Stewart of freaking My Summer Car. Here we go, here we go. Watch this, watch this. Right on top. Bam. Boom. Right there. Perfect. Freaking perfect. All right, I'm a little, a little more perfect. Right there. That's hot. That's the stuff. You know what would be terrible? If I finish this, and like I'm putting the roof on, and then it all collapses. That would be absolutely dreadful. That would be terrible. Do you know why that would be terrible? Because I would take my computer and throw it out the window. Getting kind of tired. Probably gonna need to go to sleep soon. No, I'm not talking about in the game. I'm talking about in real life, but also in the game. Our fatigue is getting a little scary over there. As a matter of fact, I think after I put this beer brick on hold on this beer brick on I'm gonna go grab a drink and then we're gonna go sleep for a little bit and then we'll be back at it I don't know man at, in the nighttime the morning time whenever the hell we wake up we get one more beer over here if I load back in at some point and this is destroyed I'm gonna go insane sure enough part of it fell to the freaking ground although not all of it fell so I guess I don't have to like go completely insane, but I am gonna feel fairly bad. As a matter of fact, um, no, I'm gonna keep doing this the way it was before. I was gonna say, I, I was thinking about, like, not building it up. I may even, hmm, I wonder, hold on, I wonder if I can convert this portion into the, into a regular brick style. What's funny is, I was gonna use the beer fort to spend the rest of my days so that my jail, my jail sentence would be up. But my jail sentence is going to be up by the time I'm done with the beer fort. I'm gonna consider this like a 4th of July special. An almost 4th of July special. I hope that you boys are gonna enjoy your friggin' holiday. If you celebrate it, if you don't celebrate it or whatever. I know there's like a Canada Day going on. That sounds pretty slick. I don't know if you boys all build, build beer forts out of beer cases in whatever culture you're in. But if you do, fantastic. Join me. Join me as together we create a horrid monument of Kalia beer. Oh god. The beers are starting to freaking fold under the weight. No. No, I'm so close. I'm so close to having like like one sort of chunk done. Do not fall. Do not fold under the weight. Not yet. Let me just get a freaking screenshot in or something before you do. No! No, the wall has come down. Damn you, Trump. No! Uh, <laughs> uh, I thought I could save it. I thought I could save it. I was wrong. All right, now I'm using this technique. See, when the bricks get a little bit too wide, I put a case of beer in long ways like that there, see? And that kind of fills in the spaces and, and keeps everything nice and tidy. It's working out pretty good so far. You know, after rebuilding the wall three times in a row, 
This wall right here is our protection. Our protection from status D. You need to take it seriously if you want to have any chance of this working appropriately. And right now, damn it, I'm not gonna lie. It's oh, oh, don't you fall on me. Don't you fall on me, you son of a bitch. All right, and right now, it's looking pretty friggin' legit. I just gotta keep a nice, steady hand like this and keep everything going nice and smooth. Nice and calm and smooth. Okay, that wall over there is starting to lean a little bit, but it's still working out good. Now, what I'm gonna do is for this wall, I think I'm gonna pack things in a little bit tighter this time. Like, I'm gonna put this one right... Holy shit. Oh my god, a beer flip! Did you see that? Oh! Freaking epic. I flipped the entire beer case on top of another beer case, creating a, a beer case brick stacking. How Now, how do you like that right there? Okay, yeah, right like that. That's about as far apart as I want these to go right now. I've been living on beer and sausage exclusively for days. I know for some of you that's no big deal, but for for me it is. It's tough, man. I'm still I'm still trying to make this wall. I'm still trying to put this wall together. This this is as, this is as wide as this particular wall is gonna get. It's not gonna get any wider. And then I'm gonna start putting the side walls on, and I'm gonna pray to the Jesus of my summer car that these freaking that these freaking beer cases don't go flying. All right, we're a little bit thirsty. Luckily, we don't have to go very far for a drink. Now remember, when you're throwing your empty beer bottle, do not throw at the wall of pain. Because if you do so, you will cry crocodile tears of sadness as all of your work, oh my freaking God, as all of your work tumbles to the ground. Who here's gonna be grilling up some sausages for the 4th of July, show of hands. We did get some uh, some bratwursts, so I will uh, and some sausages. I actually have both, so I'm gonna be hitting up both. I'm sure a couple of my buddies are gonna be making some smoked reabs. They love the smoked reabs, and to be fair, I love them too because uh, they pretty pretty much fall off the bone. Oh, I don't want to throw this at it. I'm gonna tell you what. Out in the out in the smoker for many many hours, it comes out like a pinkish color. It almost looks like it's not fully done, but it is. And it is sweet and delectable. Oh yeah, you guys were like, build a beer for it. Now I know why. Now I know why. There was some sort of animosity. That's what it is. You guys wanted me to feel the pain. I hate this game. All right, that's it for now. We're gonna give it a shot. Maybe you guys could give me better ideas on how to build this friggin' beer fort because the beer cases do not want to stay up. There has to be another way, man. There has to be another way. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>